Hello everybody, it's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, you might hear in my voice if you're watching yesterday, I'm feeling a little bit better than I did yesterday, which is super cool. Um, don't recommend this COVID business. It's, yeah, it's not that great. Okay, so if you saw the unboxing video I did um, last week, You'll be familiar with that Lydia from February and June and I swapped a box of trash with each other so that we could uh, do some projects with each other's trash. So from her box I've grabbed out a few things. Um, these were really speaking to me. They're a cool shape. They've got this really nice aperture in the middle and they're from a light bulb box. Now we don't get this type of light bulb anymore so it's not something that I have had in years I, I think quite a number of years so I really want to do something with those and then a bit of plastic packaging because you know we've got a hole so it kind of lends itself to being a window doesn't it so I've actually got two different projects in mind I don't know whether I'll get them both done on this video but I'm going to start with the first one and see how we get on so this one I thought I would turn into a belly band. So a couple of these are a bit more creased than the others, these flappy bits on the side. So I'm going to trim off two of them and just leave the two side ones. So it's going to become a belly band like that. So if I grab a page, because I, I, oops, Drop my page. I will need to trim some off the sides of this because it's too wide. So it's going to sit on the page like that. So I need to trim off. I'm not going to take it right edge to edge. I'm going to bring it in a little bit just so it's not going to sit on the spine. Right, so I'll cut about there and there. And I'm not going to trust myself with the scissors. Um, Actually, the worst thing I'm finding today is my eyes are really blurry. And I think it's just a combination of, of all the, the symptoms not being well and that I didn't sleep very well last night. So I was up till about 1.30 this morning. Um, yeah, sitting and doing some online shopping and stuff um, because I... I couldn't warm up in bed, I was so cold, and I was restless, and yeah, so I think my eyes are playing up a bit because of that night, but it was super exciting, um, while I was up during the night I heard a couple of hail showers come through, and then I went to bed, back to bed and went to sleep, and then when we woke up this morning, there was snow outside. Not a lot of snow, but it was definitely a layer on top of the cars and on some bits and pieces and a bit of a smattering on the on the ground. Um, it's all gone now, of course, but it very, very rarely snows here where I live, so that was kind of exciting. Okay, so I've cut that to size. So I'm going to go ahead and back it um, with the plastic packaging which I'm just gonna trim a bit off so I'm gonna cut off the fold of the packet first and about how big do I want it about there Sorry, I've gone totally quiet. I'm half distracted by one of our cats. Just before I started the video, he discovered the Blu-ray player and made it open by accident. And now he's just fascinated with this thing that opens and shuts and makes weary noises. So he was just hopping down from his vigil of watching it. Okay, so I've left a hinge bit there um, at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll leave the hinge there. I'm just going to put some tape down. 
around the edges. Double sided tape. So hopefully everybody's having a good day. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video on Scrappy September, there's a Scrappy Action, a challenge for you to participate in. If you haven't caught up with that, I'd love to see uh, you give it a go. It was a lot of fun and it came out better than what I was expecting, to be honest. Um, given that, you know, I'm not 100%, so I was kind of not feeling too inspired but I was quite happy with what I managed to get done so hop along and see that if you haven't watched it and give the challenge a go it'd be awesome so Lydia is going to be doing her version of the challenge on I think Friday uh, so that'll be super fun to watch too and that'll be up on her channel when she's done that My tape's just a bit wide to fit on the, the narrow parts. So. Oops. Trying to get the backing off. There we go. So far, terribly fascinating, isn't it? Just watching me lay tape and peel the backing off. It'll get better, I hope. You'll see me after this grapple with glitter. I haven't used glitter in I don't know how long. The glitter is so pretty. I love the look. I just don't like the mess. But I've got a number of packets here that my friend gave me. So it's like, well, this would be a good project to use it on. And I was going to use pink because there was a few shades of pink in the, the lot that she gave me. But then I discovered the green was um, was leaking out of the packet everywhere and I already had to wipe down my whole desk and so I tipped it into a bowl. So I guess I'm using green today. Which is cool. Green's pretty too. And this will end up going in my personal journal so I think the green is a nice spring colour as well. Fresh. Certainly our lawns are uh, very, very long at the moment. They were going to be mowed at the weekend, but we went and got COVID, so they're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get mow mowing. It's almost to the point where we need to get in some, uh, some livestock, eat the grass down, and probably keep them fed for a week. Right, so I've got all that peeled off. Hopefully that wasn't too bad watching me do that. Yay. So, lying that down as flat as I can get it. Just making sure I've got no lint or anything caught in between because I don't want that to be part of my little shaker window. Right, so I'm just going to crease down that fold so it's not getting in my way. Mm, that's not going to work. I'm going to need to put something on top of it. And maybe my glue bottle. So I'm not struggling with that being in my way. Right, now I'm going to go in with some more tape. Around the edge of the circle. Hopefully you can still see with the glue bottle in the way. So because I'm using glitter, I need to make sure I cover all the little holes. So I think I'll have to peel off as I go. Mm. Maybe. Because I want to make sure I overlap the tape so that there's no gaps where the glitter can escape. Yeah, maybe if I just peel up a little corner of the because otherwise I won't be able to see where I've taped and where I haven't. Oops, this tape keeps sticking to me. And I think it 
it's probably better if I pause while I do this because I think it's going to take me a bit of fiddling to get it done. Do one more piece and then I might put you on pause while I flip around and do the rest. Might be uh, saving all our sanity that way. And give me a chance to blow my nose as well. No, that one doesn't want to come up. Oh, there we go. Yep, so I'm just going to pop you on pause now and I'll bring you back very soon. Right, I've been round and put tape all around and I've left the tape on, apart from one piece where the, the backing just flew off so that's okay so I've got my glitter here and I'm going to use a spoon just to put some in the middle of that area trying to be as neat as possible without getting glitter everywhere which you know best of luck I think that's enough right now try and peel all the backing of the tape off shouldn't be too bad since I've already lifted the corners I know lots of people um, don't like glitter for the very same reason that it's just so messy um, also that a lot of glitter is made from plastic uh, I'm not sure what this glitter is made from, but like I said, I was given it, and I'd rather use it in something and not have it go to landfill. And you can't deny that it's pretty. Who doesn't love a bit of sparkle? Right. Yep, there we go. Not too bad. Now comes the interesting part of trying to put the top down and hoping that it's all sealed in that there's nowhere for the glitter to escape would be wonderful So there we've got a little window with glitter and it does move so it will move as it's on the page and the page gets opened and shut okay so and I've got little bits of tape sticky tape around the edges so I need to back this with something and I'm wondering whether my hole punch will be same size as that. I uh, just need a scrap to punch out to check. I think it could be just about the right size. This is my one and three quarter inch circle punch. It's bigger but that's actually quite good. So what I'm thinking is I can cut my piece of paper to, to the right size and then I can cut out my hole so that I'm not putting something behind the window. Although it wouldn't matter if I did. Actually, maybe I'll just do that. Because that looks kind of nice with the, the white. I was thinking that you could see a journaling card behind it. Um, let's see what I've got here. Maybe one of my tags. I was to put a tag behind it, you know, a journaling card, but this tag, yeah, you can't really see much anyway. So maybe it's better to go with the white or cream, this is actually cream background. Yeah, I think I'll do that, and then I won't need to worry about punching a hole and lining it up. So that's all cool. We shall do that.
so I don't because I don't want this tape that's exposed here to catch on anything that I slide in and out of the pocket right so I think what's easiest is if I just glue it on and then cut it out you right Georgie that's our wee kitten or not so wee now he's eight months at a guess he's about eight months he might want out I might have to put you on pause again to let him out right now I'm not going to put glue over where the glitter is um, because that might show through so I'll just do around the edges sorry hopefully I was on camera there I was completely away with furies thinking about Georgie I think my tip might be clogged a bit because I'm just struggling to get the glue out. Right, that should do it. So yeah, while I'm feeling better than I did yesterday, um, I can tell I'm not firing on all cylinders. So please excuse if this is a little bit of a bumbling crafting video. Um, we'll just blame it on COVID. <laughs> right, there we go. So I can trim around that now. And then, of course, decorating the front. So I haven't actually thought about how I want to decorate the front. Might have been a good idea if I'd thought about that. There we go. That's so cool. I think that's going to be really pretty as a belly band on a page with that shiny glitter in there. And so far, there's no glitter escaping. And putting that backing paper on is just further going to help it uh, not leak out. I don't think that would be very much fun having gl glitter falling out of your journal. I think that would drive me a little bit mad. Right. Okay, so what do I want to do to decorate it up? Because we have got the circle, so I might still need my circle punch. Right, what have I got that I would want to cover it in? Into my scraps bag, because you know we're doing Scrappy September. So, it's good to use scraps. This is from some Happy Mail. Uh, I think it was probably scrapbook paper that was handmade into an envelope. And I, it arrived yesterday. Let's put glue on it. Um, and I've, I think it's really pretty. So maybe you use a bit of that. And I think they'll work with the green. So what I might do is trim off where it was folded here. Then I'm going to punch a circle. Yep, and it's bigger and that's fine. Just going to trim that up a bit. Let's move that aside for now. Right, 
and I'm going to put glue on this bit and then trim around it so I can get the position of my circle in the right place. Do you want out, Georgie? I'll let you out in a minute. No, it looks like he's going to settle down on the couch. He must have given up waiting for somebody to let him out. It's cold outside, Georgie. Right, so eyeballing. Oops, sliding it around. And this is why I'm using glue stick, because it just gives me a little bit of time to position it where I want it. And then just add a good press down. And gonna get my glue. This is all sticky now because I'm cutting while the glue's wet, but that's alright. I think they need a clean anyway. It's going to make quite a sturdy belly band, this, with the cardstock and then the two layers of paper. Not to mention the little aperture filled with glitter. Right. Cool. Really happy with how that's looking. And I, I'm quite happy with this white around the edge. I think that's fine. It gives a little uh, break. A breather between the, the pattern of the paper and the glitter. So I think I am going to call that one done. There's a fun little belly band. So then I don't think I have a journal card um, made. Well not that I've got to hand anyway. I've got these tags. So that will go on a page and then even a, a tag behind would be great. I think that looks super cute. Awesome. So that was that first project. How are we going on time? 22 minutes. Have we got time to do another one? Now I've got to remember what my second idea was. Right, I was going to go and do the second project, um, but then I thought... Well, I'm still not 100% and, um, yeah, I'm, I think I, I just need to keep it short and simple. But I thought I would share with this tip with you because I really like this shape and it's not a product that we buy. Um, we have uh, a brand of life, uh, Wi-Fi controlled light bulbs in our house now. Uh, and they last for a long time, so we, we don't buy these types of light bulbs. But I really like the shape, so what I'm going to do is trace around it onto some paper so that I can create the shape anytime I want to. Just by, and I'll cut out this template and then I can play with it as much as I want. And I can use different cardstock, you know, other cardboard boxes. I can cracker box or something I can cut this out on if it's big enough um, or I could cut it onto paper or scrapbook paper and play with it like that so I thought just a wee trick if you do come across something that you particularly like uh, but which you might not necessarily get often um, make a template from it so there we go I think that's super fun and making a template from it means you can also alter it and create a different version of it to suit whatever need you you want so I'm going to call it a video for now um, hopefully you enjoyed that project of making the belly band uh, with a bit of fun glitter and a tip on making your own templates from various packaging products that you may enjoy so thanks for joining me uh, and I'll see you on the next video Bye for now.